everyone, welcome to my channel. If you like skincare and product reviews and luxury and planning an organization and home decor and DIYs, this channel is for you because you are my people and you love all the things that I love. And I promise you will find something here that you love. So if you are new, click that little red subscribe button. And if you like those things and like this channel, then you'll definitely like my Instagram. So I'll leave my handle right about here on the screen. And you can catch me over there, ask me questions. Today I'm bringing to you a DIY that is not only beautiful, but also adds a lot of function to your home. I don't know if you're like me, but I jot down a lot of notes, leave post-its, it doesn't look good. It looks like a staples literally threw up in my house at some point. So I needed a place to centralize all my notes into one neat place. Also, Stephen and I are off in two ships passing in the night, so it's really important that we have a place to put notes that we always know to look at. So I created a quick and easy home message board that I think will add style and also function to your home. And like I said, it is so easy. You'll only need a couple things for this DIY, which makes it even better. One is a picture frame. This is one that I had from Michaels many years ago, and I just sanded it down, painted it white, and de-stressed it. And I also have the back right here so that I can hang it up when I'm done. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of sheet metal. When you go to your local hardware store, your Home Depot, your Lowe's, they will have large pizza pizzas. They won't have pizzas because you don't buy pizza at the hardware store, but they will have large pieces of sheet metal. They run about the size of a poster board and you can simply buy a pair of metal snips and cut it down to the size you need. And then you'll want to spray paint the sheet metal to match your decor. It's currently navy blue, but it has been yellow and it'll probably be another color within a month. The paint job doesn't need to be perfect because you won't see much of it when you see how it all works out. But um, yeah, I just keep using the same piece of sheet metal and change out the color as I want. I'm really thinking of painting it like a blush color. Stay tuned. The next thing you'll want to pick up is a radiator cover. What's great about these is that they come in different prints. I chose like a Moroccan uh, quarter foil type pattern, but they had some Greek key patterns and like a triangle geometric pattern. Um, you can really pick something that matches your style. I just really like this one. And then the next thing you'll want is some bowl clips with the magnets. And I just attached those with some E6000 glue and let it dry. Now, if your sheet metal happened to be magnetized, you could just stick these on wherever you want. I knew that I needed these to be pretty heavy duty, so I opted for the glue option and um, yeah, I'm sticking with that. And now you just assemble it. The first thing you wanna do is lay in your radiator cover. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that into the picture frame. And if you cut it perfectly, it should lay right in there. The next one is to put your piece of spray painted sheet metal painted side facing down. And then lastly, you put the back of your frame on. And now I'm just going to add things to my clips. I love these notepads where they have like the to-do list already like graphed out for you. This is things to do around the house. I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that on. Then I also will often clip in a few little journal cards. So I'm gonna put this one that says a perfect day. And then this one that says live in the dream. And then the reason I glued these down is so that they could hold heavy duty. So I always pick these up and you are just like me and you know you have a drawer full of about like 800 of these long post-it pads that you pick up at the dollar bin at Target. You all have them. But the reason I glue them is so that I know it can hold this much paper. And voila. You have a customizable message board to house all those notes, recipes, little things that you jot down at home in one nice stylish location. It is super easy, super simple, but adds so much function to your home. And I love anything that I can truly make my own. And then whenever I want to change the color, I just pull out that piece of sheet metal and give it a coat of spray paint. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and that you found it useful. Like I said, it is super simple, but it adds a lot of style and a lot of function. We keep this right in our mudroom entryway, so it's the first place we look when we need to leave each other a note. So that's it. If you like this video, once again, subscribe, catch me on Instagram, and I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. 
Until next time, bye bye